Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a quick review on the Peripera Airy Ink Foundation. This foundation claims to cover the skin naturally and lightly with a velvety finish. It also claims to have a powerful ink elastic tenacity to prevent makeup breakdowns. This foundation comes in three shades which are shade 13, shade 21 and shade 23. I like that the packaging is clean and simple and that the pump dispenses a generous amount. One pump is enough for two layers of foundation. A little goes a very long way with this foundation. As you can see this is a liquid foundation that is neither too runny or thick. I have it in the shade 21 which matches me perfectly, however on camera it does look like it's a lot whiter than my skin tone, but in person it does match my skin. And as its name says, airy, it does feel quite airy on the skin. It's very lightweight and it doesn't feel sticky at all. It's super easy to blend out and as I mentioned, a little goes a very long way. The coverage I would say is a light to light medium and can be built up to a decent medium coverage. So now let's move on to show you how I actually apply the product. First I'm actually just correcting my under eye circles with some salmon tone concealer. And beforehand I have already primed my skin. Next I dispense about half a pump of foundation which is enough to cover my entire face. I like to apply in sections, so first I like to apply on one side of my face and blend that out, then work onto the other side. As you can see, I distribute it in dots and then I blend it out using a beauty blender. Here you can see how easy it is to blend out and how quickly it covers any redness and evens out my skin tone. As I mentioned previously, I have it in the shade 21 which matches my skin tone perfectly, however on camera it does look a lot lighter than my skin. That may be due to the fact that it does contain an SPF of 30 PA++. This foundation is very skin-like due to the velvety finish and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all. It does look very natural because it's more of a semi-matte than a true matte foundation. Personally, I feel like this foundation is more suited towards those with oily to normal skin types. Individuals with dry skin who would like to try out this foundation will need to moisturise well and exfoliate beforehand as it will attach to any dry patches of skin. So that is a disadvantage of this product to be aware of. In addition to that, even though this product claims to prevent makeup breakdown, I find that it only lasts about 8 hours max on me. And I have an oily combination skin type. On areas where I had dry patches, like on the sides of my mouth and on my nose and sides of my nose, I found that this foundation really accentuated those dry patches and it broke down a lot quicker on those dry patches. However, on the rest of my face, it did look really, really nice and natural. Just unfortunate that it really doesn't work well with dry skin. And here is how the foundation looks after I completed the rest of my makeup. It looks very natural with a slight glow to it. Initially it doesn't sink into fine lines, however throughout the day it does start to sink into my smile lines. Here I hope you can see how it's really accentuated the dry skin on my nose and the flaky patches on the side of my mouth and also the breakout just on the side of my nose. So the pros are it does look natural and it feels very light on the skin. And the cons are that it doesn't completely cover my dark pigmentation and it doesn't work well with dry patchy skin and that it doesn't last all that long. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick review on the Peripera Airy Ink Foundation and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!